Welcome everybody to another eVoto tutorial. This tutorial is going to be dealing with Lightroom catalogs and how to import them into eVoto. As you can see on the screen, I've already started a project. Once you go to start a project, it will bring you to this screen. In this case, we're going to select import from Lightroom catalog. Something I need you to be aware of, this is the catalog I'm going to be importing. However, Lightroom is running in the background. So if I go to import this catalog, you will get a warning to shut down Lightroom. With that said, I'm going to open Lightroom so I can show you some things we need to go over. Keep in mind, this is not a Lightroom tutorial. This is for people who already know how to use cataloging within Lightroom. As you can see here, I created a catalog and added 15 images. I added images to different color groups, different flags, different ratings. Some I edited, most are not edited. But here's something I need you to understand with the editing. In the case of this picture here, you can see I raised the temperature, lowered the tint, added some clarity. I did this just for demonstration purposes. I also edited this one as well. So I have two edited images. Keep in mind, when you open the images within Evoto, only the sections that Evoto has will transfer over, which means your color can transfer over, your curves can transfer over, your normal color mixer can transfer over, your color grading. If, for example, you're in point color and you do some work in this point color selection, it will not transfer over to Evoto because Evoto does not have this section. So now that we've gone over that, we are going to close Lightroom. Now when we go to import the Lightroom catalog, it will open. Now you're presented with more options. We're going to start on the left under filters. In this case, I'm only using JPEG images. So if I select on non-RAW, you'll see all 15 images are selected. If I select on RAW, you'll see it go to zero. The next line, editing status. Remember I had two files that I edited. So if I select edited, you'll see those two files here. Unedited, 13. Next, you'll see the ratings. If I select five star, you'll see that I have six images that were rated at five stars. Three stars, I had four images. None was five. I didn't use one, two, or four in this case. Next, you have the color selection. These are the colors that I use, the red, the green, and the blue. If you had selected purple, that would show up here as well, or any of the other colors in the list. So for example, under red, I have three images. Under green, I have two images. Under blue, I have four images. And no colors are six. Below that are the flags. I rejected two images. I flagged five images and none were eight. These are the images that you will be selecting from to add to a photo. You can also combine these. Let's say I wanted edited pictures and I only want the ones that were rated at five stars. That's two images. If I wanted edited and let's say three stars, that would be none. If I want my blue images, there's four of them. How many did I rate five stars? Only one. So if I imported, it would only import that one. This box here, import color settings from Lightroom catalog. The reason I showed you the editing that I did on the two images was because I used the color settings. If I leave this here, it will take those settings and it will transfer those into Evoto. Meaning that if you go to the develop tab, you will notice that those sliders will have moved to where they were in Lightroom. In this case, I'm gonna leave this on. If you turn this off, you will not see the color editing and it will just go back to the natural picture without the color editing. The sliders will not be affected. It is not importing an image as a completed color edited image. It's only changing the sliders. So if you don't want the colors, you leave it unchecked. If you do want the colors, you check it. To the right, we have folders and collections. 
This is our main folder. This relates to everything to the left. Folders, 15 images. If I go into my collections, I have two different collections. This one has three images. This one has three images. I have six images between these two. Also, I can look for five starred images in this fun collection. I have two of those. If I want to see how many of the blue images ended up in those folders, I have one of the blue images in quick collection. This just allows you again to select the images that you're going to be importing. In this case, I'm going to stick with my main folder and I'm going to select my five star images and I'm going to import them now. Here you can see the images that were my five star images. Going back to the develop tab, I want you to notice the two images that I did color work to. If I click on this image, you'll see the temperature that I raised, the tint that I lowered, added clarity as well, which is here, and I also raised the blacks. In this image, you can see that I raised the clarity, I lowered the contrast, that's pretty much all I did to this image. So now we're gonna start with this image. Now this image has been transferred into a photo. What I do want you to see is this folder here. This folder is all the images. This is the folder in which the Lightroom catalog is getting its images from. Anything done to the Lightroom catalog will be affecting this folder. So now let's edit this image. I'm just gonna do some hair work and some skin retouching. Something small, see the before and after. Now that I've edited this image, we can export an image as we normally would with any image. We can also send it back to the Lightroom catalog file. That's what we're gonna do in this case. Now here you have choices. We're gonna be exporting back to the original Lightroom catalog folder. Remember this that I showed you, this is the folder with the images. You have choices below that. A non-raw image will replace the existing file as well as export color settings to Lightroom catalog. This export color settings to Lightroom catalog is the same as when we imported the Lightroom colors. What it's going to do, as long as the develop tab equals what's in Lightroom, it will adjust the sliders. It will not be edited into the image, it will just be the sliders in Lightroom. In this case, I didn't do any color work, so we don't need to select that. And now we are not gonna select at this time a non-raw image will replace the existing file. We will go over that later. So for now, we're just gonna export this image. As we are exporting, I wanna show you the folder with the images. You'll notice it created this image here. This is the new image, the edited one that we just did with Evoto. It's been added to the folder that contains the Lightroom catalog images. Now we are gonna open Lightroom again. Now you will see in the library, there is a number two over the image. That means we have these two images. You now have the Evoto image as well as the original image. What's nice now is that we could take these two images into the develop tab and we can compare the two images the Evoto and the original, the same way you would compare any images. And yes, it's that simple to get the images over to Lightroom, but now I'm gonna show you a few more things. Now we're gonna open Evoto again, and we're gonna to go to the color tab. We're gonna do something extreme again. Now when we go to export, in this case, let's export the color settings to Lightroom Catalog. And what this will do is it will send these settings to Lightroom to the original file. You'll notice when we go back to Lightroom that that file will have these adjustments made, but of course you can always adjust them back. You will notice that this image will export from Evoto as normal, and you will have that in your Lightroom Catalog. You have the other image we did, as well as the original image that will have these instructions. You'll see that shortly. And because we've exported this file already, we were charged one credit. However, because we're still using the same file, we're not gonna get charged another credit. There is an issue with this that I will be going over shortly. Again, the catalog is being used by Lightroom. 
it is open. So we need to close Lightroom again. And again, I will show you the folder with the files. As the edit completes, you will see it's being added to the Lightroom catalog folder. Now we can open Lightroom again. Now we have three of three. What I want you to notice now is the sliders here. See how they changed. So if we want to get back to the normal look, let's just reset these. Here's the newest image. This image here was exported from Evoto and then into Lightroom. That's why the colors are changed. This one had the colors changed, but we just reset them. That affected the original image. So now we have three different images to compare from. And we can edit them again with Lightroom however we want. The original image, the one with the color from Evoto, you notice the hair is cleaned. And then the first one we exported So that's how easy it is to transfer the images back to the Lightroom catalog. You can also in Avoto, if you need, do a lot of work, you can export them all. Just go through the same steps, only selecting all the images. That will put all the images back into Lightroom. Now we're gonna discuss something that you do need to be aware of. Let's say I take this image here and we run it through some editing. We can even unadjust the color correction that was done in Lightroom. Here's something to be made aware of. When you export Lightroom catalog and you choose a non raw image will replace the existing file. I'm going to show you this. We're going to bring in the files. The original image is here. Here's our first export and our second export. When we go to replace the original image, it's going to be replacing this image here. Notice before that when we exported the images, here's our original, here is our second, and here's our third. If we chose to replace the original image, this image here would have been replaced. And what will happen inside of Evoto, it will create a backup of this image. That backup then becomes the image that you will be using in Evoto. If you use this image again, you will be charged again. You must now use the backup image and I will show you that now. Currently using this image here, we're going to export. One thing to keep in mind is that when you do the non raw image, we replace the existing file is it will replace the entire image, including all the color changes. This is no longer a set of instructions on how to change the sliders. This is actually creating a new image with the color built in. So it doesn't matter if this is on or off. For example, if I were to export it with this off, it would create that second image the same way the other one did. If I have this selected, it will replace the image. When you do it without this on, you will get the slider control. When you turn this on, you will just completely be replacing the image. And we're gonna export this. Here it will say the export image will replace the current file and this cannot be undone. An automatic backup file of the current one will be created. What I want you to notice is how you have the JPEG number right here. But when you export this image, it will create that backup and this here will change to the backup image. Again, an automatic backup file will be created. And again, we need to close Lightroom in order to do this.
Now you will notice that this image will be changed and a new one will be created. See how the original image just changed to the Evodo image and the backup was created. Notice how the backup is in Evodo, not this image anymore, the backup. So now let's open Lightroom. Now in Lightroom, you'll notice how you don't see two of two because we have replaced the image completely. There's only one image. This is the Evoto image. You'll see a little exclamation point. Sometimes you need to go into overwrite settings and then this will go away. But now again, you have the new image. That is the image that was exported from Evoto. It also exported as the full image. Notice how the color sliders are no longer accessible because this is a completely new image with the colors baked in. You can see that here. This is the original image has been completely replaced with the new adjustments. These sliders here in Evoto overtook the sliders by replacing the image. Now, the reason we want to keep the backup image in mind is that this now is the image that Evoto has sent its metadata to. So if you want to use the image again and you want to edit it again and not get charged a credit, you must use this image. This image has now been removed from Evoto and this is the image now stored in Evoto server. Keep that in mind because many times people may redo their library and use the original images thinking they won't be charged again, but this is the image now that is in Evoto. And that's it. That's your steps to opening Lightroom catalog within Evoto, editing images, changing them, making multiple copies of the images, making a single replacement of the image and how they work together. Hopefully this information gives you knowledge on how to use Lightroom and Evoto together.